In question 6, we have these two parts A and B. Part A says, what is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon and why? And then part B says, what is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon? So in part A, we have to find the minimum interior angle possible. And in part B, we have to find the maximum in exterior angle possible. So let's analyze a few cases of regular polygons and come up with the answers for both of these parts. So in this figure that I've taken, I have taken a uh, I have taken four regular polygons, an equilateral triangle, three sides, a square with four sides, a pentagon with five equal sides and a hexagon with six equal sides. Each of these are regular polygons. Let, let's analyze the interior angles and the exterior angles in each case. So in the case of an equilateral triangle, the interior each ex interior angle will be 60 degrees. And this means that each exterior angle, if you extend and find the exterior angle, each exterior angle will be equal to 120 degrees. In a square, each interior angle will be 90 degrees, which means that each exterior angle will also be equal to 90 degrees. What about the interior angle in a pentagon, each interior angle in a pentagon? Well, all the interior angles will be equal and their sum will be equal to 540 degrees. So from this, we can calculate that each interior angle will have a measure of 108 degrees in a regular pentagon, which means that each exterior angle will have a measure of 72 degrees. And then in a hexagon, the total sum of all the interior angles will be 720 degrees. And that divided by six gives us each interior angle, which will be equal to 120 degrees. So you can verify this calculation each interior angle of a regular hexagon will be 120 degrees and this means that if we calculate any exterior angle this will be 180 minus 120 or 60 degrees now observe the pattern in the interior angles so we have 60 degrees for a three-sided regular polygon 90 degrees for a four-sided regular polygon 108 degrees for a five-sided regular polygon and 120 degrees for a six sided regular polygon. So the interior angles, interior angle is increasing as the number of sides is increasing. So the minimum interior angle possible is for an equilateral triangle and that is equal to 60 degrees. So the answer for the first part is 60 degrees. The minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon is 60 degrees. And this is in the case of an equilateral triangle with three sides. Now, similarly, we can see the trend in exterior angles. What is happening to the exterior angles? We have 120 degrees, then we have 90 degrees, we have 72 degrees and we have 60 degrees. So the exterior angles are decreasing as the number of sides is increasing. So the maximum possible exterior angle for a regular polygon is 120 degrees. And this happens when the interior angle is minimum. So when the interior angle is 60 degrees, which is the minimum possible value, the exterior angle is at its maximum possible value of 120 degrees. And that's the answer for part B. Now, the thing is that we found these answers by observation. We observed a few cases of regular polygons and we concluded that the minimum interior angle will be 60 degrees and the maximum exterior angle will be 120 degrees, both for the case of an equilateral triangle. But let's find these answers more rigorously now. Let's prove properly that these values that we have found, 60 degrees and 120 degrees, these will indeed be the values for the minimum interior angle and the maximum exterior angle. So let's assume that we have an n-sided polygon. So let's assume that we have an n-sided polygon where n could be any value that's 3 or greater than 3 because the minimum possible value of n is 3 but n could be any value greater than 3 so we can write n is greater than or equal to 3. Now what will be the exterior what will be each exterior angle and each interior angle of this polygon? Well we can make use of the fact that the sum of all the 
exterior angles of this polygon regardless of what the value of n is the sum of all the exterior angles will be 360 degrees and this means that each exterior angle will measure how much so we have n exterior angles because we have an n-sided polygon and their total sum is 360 degrees so each exterior angle will measure 360 degrees divided by n and this means that each interior angle will measure 180 minus each exterior angle so each interior angle will measure 180 degrees minus 360 degrees divided by n so once again observe this carefully what we have calculated is in terms of n we have calculated that each exterior angle of the polygon will measure 360 degrees by n and each interior angle of the polygon will measure 180 degrees minus 360 degrees by n now if you observe this first expression for the measure of exterior angles you you see that if we have this n in the denominator and n can be any value that's 3 or greater than 3 so if n is 3 we get 360 by 3 or 120 if n is 4 we get 360 by 4 um, that's 90 if n is 5 we get 360 by 5 and that's equal to 72 if n is 6 we get 360 by 6 so we get 60 degrees and so on so as the value of n is increased the value of 360 degrees by n decreases we can see this in the trend here uh, 120 going to 90 going to 72 going to 60 so the maximum possible value of this expression 360 degree by n is 120 degrees and this is the case when n is equal to 3 which means when we have an equilateral triangle so the maximum possible exterior angle is 120 degrees and corresponding to this the minimum possible interior angle will be 180 minus 360 by n 360 by 3 so this will be equal to 60 degrees so again we have arrived at the same answer but this time we have proven it more rigorously that the maximum possible exterior angle is 120 degrees and hence the minimum possible interior angle is 60 degrees so this completes question number six to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.